Hello everyone, my name is Zero and welcome back to Dragon Ball Legends Reveals and Stuff. The premiere will be beginning shortly, so I am starting my live now. I honestly don't know what to say. There have been so many thoughts between this video and the last video that I have had. So many suggestions that I should have put, so I'm just gonna put them now. Like, uh, Revival, Demon King Piccolo to Piccolo Jr., and LF Kid Goku, something like that. I'm excited. Like, I actually cannot wait. I have just opened up Stream Manager, so hello, hello, everyone. This is obviously not my stream. This is this is Bandai's stream. Oh, here we go. Go ahead and mute this because it's loud. But uh. Make sure I'm on the right subtitles, because for some reason, last time they were in German. But that's okay. We are here, and we are we're going to get excited. Like I said, Revival, Piccolo Jr., LF Kid Goku, Mercenary Tau... TN, we have so many options because this arc just doesn't have any characters. So, let's find out what we have together, shall we? Three, two, one. Hello, everyone. Hi, Toshi. I'm Toshi, the producer of Dragon Ball Legends. Thanks for joining me today. It's time of to course. kick off reveals and stuff. I'd like to start by asking how everyone's been enjoying the We've Surpassed 80 Million Users Worldwide Thanks to You episode campaign Frieza Saga Z that it's started the, the other day. It's, it's, the it's new not Captain the worst. Ginyu, Jace and Birder, I didn't, I the got Raccoon shafted on and both Goldo banners. that we have introduced no during Ginyu our last Force, show made their no debuts Goku, and then the no end Gohan of last Krillin. month saw Legends Limited Super yep. Saiyan Goku along them. with Gohan, Kid, and Krillin join the fight as well. That means we've released one. I don't mean to pause, but I did not get a single one of these characters, so you better give me something good. Revival character and three tag character. It's when Ginyu fails to revive and turns into a Mei. These Ginyu Force characters have great synergy when placed in the same party, so be sure to acquire all three and make a team with them. Nope, Plus, I didn't. Goku from the Frieza Saga, who we hadn't heard from in quite a while, arrived as a new summonable character. It's easy to build up this Goku's unique gauge so you can quickly boost the damage dealt by Goku's arts. It goes without saying that this character is powerful and its blue element makes it a good match against Vegito. As strong as the abilities are, the graphics on this character are really something to behold. This summon is still going on, so be sure not to miss out. For this episode of Reveals friend, and Stuff, we're bringing you the latest woof. info on the episode campaign Dragon Ball Saga that started right, the other day. Here is what we are here for. This. Okay, new non stop Season raid. Two of the ongoing Beat the Heat Summer Non Stop Raid will start tomorrow. I'm turning you down, Toshi. The rewards can net you up to 700 Chrono Crystals per raid, and if you combine that with Season 1, that's 1,000. 400 Chrono Crystals in total. That's, that's Make good not use a lot. of battle bonus characters so you can get every last crystal. That's not a lot. Next up. But okay. You better fix it. We're holding a Hoi Poi event. Yes. Unlike the one held during Very the fifth anniversary fixed. campaign, this is your typical step style Hoi Poi. There will be bonus characters who have bonuses to Hoi Poi coin drop rates or drop amounts. So, make a party with those characters and you'll be able to open a ton of capsules. Great. Hoi Poi coins can be obtained through a number of different events, so don't miss this opportunity to get lots of items. <coughs> Here's what's next. 
Let's head out on a mystical adventure、What? is coming soon. Each stage of this event has required characters, meaning that it follows the same structure as Perilous Clash Namek from last month. Oh. Here are the required characters this time. Okay. You、then. can probably tell by looking at the characters we've yeah, selected. Yeah, it's obviously. But they're organized in the order in which they met Goku. The rewards you can get are the same as usual Chrono Crystals、Cute. and Slot Removers. This is a permanent event with no set time period. Yeah, none、so、of them have had a set time period. Join in once you get the characters、cool. you need and limit break them. Now, check this out. Checking it out, Toshi. Bulma Youth. From Which one is this? Dragon Ball Saga is getting a Zenkai Awakening. This is the. Here's what this character is. I don't know if、Zenkai、I have this one maxed、targets. out yet. This new tag was、yeah, added recently to coincide with the arrival of the event exclusive. Demon King Piccolo, which makes it the second new tag to be added this year after Universe Rep. We added this one in order to give players the ability to create a wider variety of parties than they could previously. The new tag will be added to existing characters in addition to the Zenkai Awake and Bulma we're introducing now. So, yeah, the check new them DB out and try to make a party out of the characters with this new tag. Good luck with that. You can get Awakening Z Power for Bulma from Zenkai Rush Battles and Missions, so now's your chance to Zenkai Awaken this character. Zenkai Rush Battle started last month, and if I may, I'd like to take this opportunity to explain once again what kind of event it is. Zenkai Rush Battle is a power style event with 30 stages. You can use Quick Battle to progress quickly、Chrono、up、crystals. to a certain floor, and you can receive Awakening Z Power, Slot Removers, and Chrono Crystals as rewards. You can probably guess from the name, but, but one of the most important Chrono points is that、before. you can also get Rush Medals. You can exchange Rush Medals for memories and fragments needed to awaken equipment, along with parts cores. Do not get it mistaken. While it is quicker, we lose like 300 Chrono Crystals. And I am a free to play player, so those Chrono Crystals matter. Needed for Arts Boost. Introduce some new characters. Since this is a lot of possible characters, all right, I'm sure you're、me. all wondering who's in store. Show so, it to me! Without further ado, behold. Show it to me, Toshi. Dun, dun, dun. Hey! Oh, yeah, this video is so copyrighted. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to mute because I don't want this video to get entirely taken down. But it looks amazing. But Master Roshi is not the LF. Android 8. Yeah, it has to be at like minimum volume. I apologize, everyone. Okay. Nice. Is it. Yeah. We kind of we saw it coming. A. Okay, he has an ultimate. I don't know why that played twice. With that, we have Master Roshi, Android 8, and Legends Limited Goku Youth from the Dragon Ball The Path to Power movie. Nice! This campaign marks the first time the characters from The Path to Power are coming to Legends. We've got all the details coming up, but for now, I can say that this Goku has a never before seen unique gauge. So, I hope you all look forward to it. Never be seen before unique gauge. I'm glad we're getting a full buff Master Roshi, though. 
Ooh, he's a HP unit. Interesting. Alright, let's turn you back up, Toshi. Roshi are the special move and ultimate arts. For the special move arts, in addition to greatly reducing the enemy's key, Roshi can also unleash some serious firepower through a boost to special move damage inflicted. The ultimate arts will increase ultimate arts damage inflicted, and some of the damage dealt will also be dealt to enemy members on standby, so you can put some serious pressure on your opponent's entire team. Furthermore, the special arts will give a boost to special move and ultimate arts damage inflicted, as well as draw one special move arts card. So, use it as a starting point and don't be shy about using Roshi's patented Kamehameha throughout the fight. Nice. But, it's not just firepower that Master Roshi brings to the table. This character can Ooh, also support another your party sparking in a with a unique way. gauge. When you turn to standby, your allies' damage inflicted and special move damage inflicted will be increased. Your own no. Dragon Balls will also increase by that. one, but there is a limit to how many times that effect will Scratch activate. Scratch that. Don't. This not also a unique makes gauge. for a really good synergy with Goku Youth, who we'll talk about a little bit later. Though usually in a supporting role as a teacher, Roshi's ability to overwhelm opponents with a single powerful attack when things get serious has been faithfully recreated. Next, Hell let's yeah. talk about Android 8. Android 8 is a melee type that is blue. blue and has tag Dragon Ball and tag Android. The Z ability 3 applies to Great, tag just we need, Dragon Ball, just what we tag needed, Android, another and tag episode Android sagas boost. from the movie's allies. The main strength of Android 8 is some unique and extremely powerful defensive abilities. This character has the ability to destroy two random cards when changing cover. Ooh, and also episode sagas from the movies? Gauge to Interesting. And decrease their Dragon Balls by one, but with a limit to how many times these effects activate. Casserole, who was added during the 5th anniversary, can also empty the enemy's vanishing gauge when changing cover. And, in situations where the enemy can't switch, like when they're waiting for substitution counts to take down, reducing their vanishing gauge gave Casserole some great combo opportunities. So, this should be quite powerful for Android 8 too. Hopefully. This character is also an appealing strike attacker that boasts some explosive power thanks to the special arts. For a set amount of time, it'll grant a massive boost to inflicted damage, decrease both strike and blast arts costs, increase own arts card draw speed by two levels, and even apply a buff that nullifies the enemy's special cover changes. Use the special arts to launch a sudden all-out attack. But that's not all. You'll also draw a special arts upon entering the battlefield, making Ooh. it both extremely powerful and incredibly easy to use. Kinda like Shallot Last whenever he cover changes. Is Legends Limited Goku Youth. Show me. Goku Youth is a range type Ooh, character look at with the element art. purple it's adorable. and the Dragon Ball, Sun Family, Saiyan, and Kids character tags. The Z ability 3 targets allies with tag Dragon Ball, tag Sun Family, or episode Sagas from the Movies. This Goku standout feature is a unique gauge that activates various effects when you gain Dragon Balls. It's really? something we've never done before. Unique so, without gauge around the bush, up when you gain Dragon Balls. Bit more detail. First Tell off, me. with this unique gauge, every time Goku gains a Dragon Ball, it'll recover health, increase damage inflicted, and decrease blast and special move arts costs. Plus, oh. when the unique gauge is full, it'll recover a ton of health and increase special move and ultimate damage inflicted by a lot. Allies will also receive health recovery and a boost to damage inflicted. This alone would be enough to what? make it a truly powerful unique gauge, but on top of that, one of Goku's unique I forgot to see what color he was. For every Dragon Ball you obtain while this character is Not on bad. the battlefield. We'll see that after. This includes in a minute. recovering key, drawing one random card oh. if Goku has 3 or fewer cards, and nullifying the enemy's special cover changes. The special cover change nullification and art straw from gaining Dragon Balls mean that gathering even more will become easier, which in turn makes charging the unique gauge a snap. In addition to all this, Goku can be quite resilient and unleash some immense power in the endgame. When Goku's health reaches zero, an endurance effect that right, recovers I health am by- Sorry for pausing again, but what color was he? Go back. Purple. Interesting. Use of the special.
martial arts, you can perform a damage step twice and even take the opportunity to deal some damage while your unfavorable element factors are nullified. This all means that Goku remains a powerful attacker from the start Get of the battle right card. to the end. You can find a more detailed look at this new character's abilities on the site listed in the video description after this premiere is over. So, make sure to give it a look. And to coincide with these characters' debuts, oh, they already the music released you heard it? in the promo video, Dandan Kokoro Hikarete Ku, the cinema version, will be available in-game for a limited time. It'll play during battles and several other places, so turn the volume up and enjoy it while you play. Yeah, and if you don't copyright me for it, I will. Episode. September kicked off episode campaign, Dragon Ball Saga, but there's lots to look forward to in addition to the new characters and tag. We've got other events and campaigns related to the Dragon Ball Saga prepared for this month beyond what you've seen here today. We're even considering some Dragon Ball Saga style rating match seasons, so be on the lookout for them. We'll be posting info not covered in today's broadcast, so be sure to follow our social media accounts Go if you follow them already. on Twitter. And thank you very don't much follow me, for those I don't who post. Are. We'll be rolling out campaigns for various episodes, so try to guess what we might have in store as you continue to enjoy Legends. But be sure to start by enjoying the full-on Zenkai power of the Dragon Ball Saga campaign. And that is all for today. Thanks for watching to the end, and please join me again for the next Reveals and Stuff. I bye bye. will. Alright, that's actually over. So, my final thoughts here. I enjoy that we have a kid Goku. I'm not I don't understand why they didn't do like, you know, the Ozaru Dragon Fist. Like this almost looks like GT Goku. Am I am I not wrong? Paper scissors! Like if he turned Super Saiyan, would anybody question it? I do like that we have a full power Master Roshi final mute this. I do like that we have a full power Master Roshi finally. All of these green cards look amazing. Android 8 is a cool addition. Wasn't expecting that. I don't know how to feel about this Goku. Like... It doesn't feel like a Dragon Ball Saga Goku, and maybe I missed something, don't hate me in the comments, but... This... Style looks more... GT. But I do like that he's a range type. We need more of those. Also, I love how they take their own PNGs. But purple, so he's going to be able to team up with plenty of other strong purple units like Gogeta and the Zenkai UI we got recently. But, um, yeah, besides that, what color is Android 8? Blue? And Master Roshi was yellow. Yeah, they're all ranged. No, Android 8 was melee. Anyways, it is too early in the morning to be premiering these things, Toji. I don't know how to speak, but we all knew it was going to be this Goku. I just don't think that that was the LF that we were expecting. But I wish the best of luck. I'm going to summon on this banner, but if you don't see a video, that's because I didn't get the character. But until next time, I will see you then. Bye-bye. Mm,